What's up YouTube? PP Dangler coming here. I have another BB pistol review for you here. This is this is a nice one. This is the Crossman SR357. It's the big brother to the SNR Snub Nose Revolver 357, which I got right here, which we already reviewed. This is the little brother. This is the big brother. This comes in chrome. It's a six inch CO2 pistol. And here it is. It came today. This is the box that it came in. Not sure about the box. It's marked in meters per second. I'm used to feet per second, so I don't know where this came from, but uh, it's a single double action. It comes with two Weaver style tactical rails. So that's cool. We can put a rail on top and on bottom. Uh, powered by CO2. Target shooting, pest control, small game. Not sure about that. I did translate the 136 meters. It's about 445 feet per second using BBs. And that's what we're going to test out here. It's a BB, marketed as a BB air pistol, while this little brother was marketed as a dual ammo shooting pellets and BBs. And I think they use the same shells, so we are going to test it. We're going to put some pellets through this gun, even though it says BB. Let's take a look at what's it say here. Loading is quick and easy. Swing out six cylinder, six swing out cylinder and six cartridges. Bullets. On the back, it's got some specs. You can pause that if you'd like. I'll go over the weight. I'll go over the measurements. It's got a fully adjustable rear sight, fixed front. Again, ammunition, steel BBs. We'll shoot some BBs, but we're going to do some pellets, too, because pellets are awesome. Look at that chrome. So this is the box, metal frame, fast loading. All right, are you ready? Let's open this up. Yeah. And this is what comes in the box. We got your owner's manual, which looks pretty... Standard for Crossman. Tells you to put the CO2 in, all that junk. Double action. Put that aside. Put the gun. Oh. Alright. In here. Oh, if I can get it open. No, it didn't say it came with this, but it does, so that's great. This is a speed loader which I'm not sure how to use. Thought you just turn it, but whatever. Let's figure that out. We got a little Allen key. Oh, sorry about that, I keep hitting the camera. Then we got a couple of rails that look like they're okay. Looks like they just slide on. You tighten them down with the Allen key. There's two of them, one for top and rear if you want to put a scope on. I'm not a big scope guy, I'll be honest with you. Let's get this baby out of the box. Put this stuff back in the box. So I can lose it another time. Okay, wow. I'll just give you a minute to uh, take a look and enjoy that. Very nice. Again, we know this is going to be plastic. where you put your CO2 in. I'll show you how to do that. Here's your selector switch. Back is safe. Can't do nothing. That's fire. Single. Ooh. That's crisp. That's a clean break. Double action's nice too. There's your marking, your SR357. Your bottom rail right here, that's where you would slide on that tactical rail. It's got little grooves right there. The barrel. Oh wow. That's recessed all the way in there. I don't even know if you can pick that up. Oh, there you go. That's nice, that's nice. On the other side, 
Same marking, 357, got your instructions, my individual serial number, so don't go taking that. Crossman, Bloomfield, New York. That's not far from me. I'm in upstate New York. 4.5 and made in Taiwan, like everything else. Wow, this has got some good weight in this. I don't know, the, the handle feels different than on this. Is this the same handle? Looks real similar. Hmm, maybe it's the width that's throwing me off. Feels good though. It's got a lot of front heavy, real front heavy. To that long barrel. This has only got a two and a half. And this is the big brother at six. Look at that. Wow. Can't wait to do some shooting with this. Hopefully it's a lot more accurate. Pop your shells open. And there they are. It just uses the standard shells that all Crossman revolver BB guns use. So what we'll do is... Yeah, this back part's all metal, just like the other ones. Rubber front. So we'll shoot some BBs out of it. And then... You got some pellet shells. These load in the back. Let's make sure these even fit in there first. Huh? Oh yeah, of course they're gonna fit. Cause Crossman knows what they're doing. Now it wasn't marketed as a dual ammo, but I am betting you that it, it yeah, cylinder functions with them in and everything. It's gonna fire them. No doubt in my mind. All right, that's cool. That's great. Let's get some measurements on this. We'll take. Wow, that's nice. That looks so nice and chrome. All right, wait. Two pounds, one ounce. Get this out of here. So that's not bad. Get that in view. Length. Oh, you're looking at 12 inches from tip to the end of the handle. And about six and a half tall. So, it's not going to fit in my Allen pistol case, so that's a bummer, but we'll find another one. Oh, look at that sight picture, too. Got the red dot on there. That's what I like to see. You can feel it. There it is. Well, it's red, whereas the little brother, we got nothing. Nothing at all. This is nice though. Let's see if we can get this speed loader up. You, you can look at that for a second. So I think you just drop these in here. Five, six. And then you push and turn. I don't even know how to use this. Seems kind of hokey to me. Oh, there it goes. It clicks in just to hold them in. I like loading them one by one myself. That's part of the fun. And then you push it in there. Oh, and it doesn't even fit. Yeah, because the grips are too large. This, you know, I read another review, or I, I watched another review online same thing. Yeah, that's hokey. We're not using that. Alright, let's get this loaded up here. We'll put some CO2 in it. CO2. We'll use a little drop of Pelican oil. cartridges out first and uh, we'll get it loaded up let's do this 
Now the sights on the back there are adjustable for windage and elevation. As you can see there, the rear sight is the front post is fixed, obviously. Can't remember if I mentioned that or not. So we'll load these up quick. Three, four, five, six. All right. And we'll get a target and we'll shoot this. And then we're going to check to see if this thing shoots BBs. And, uh, really, or I'm sorry, if it shoots pellets, we know it shoots BBs. We're going to see if it shoots pellets because, uh, are you getting that chrome, that finish? Is that what chrome, a silvery chrome? Man, that's beautiful. Looks real nice. Yeah, we'll see if she shoots pellets because I like pellets. I'll just load that up like that. Oh, it's so nice loading these revolvers. Put it on safe. I'm going to get a target set up, and then I'll be right back with you. Stand by. All right, so I'm going to shoot some in single action from 20 feet away at this target here, at the middle target. And uh, it's a fresh CO2. And then I got six more shells in my pocket, BBs. Um, so we'll do two groups here of six. And then uh, we'll see if this thing shoots pellets. All right. Okay, not a bad grouping for first time shooting this gun. Um, looks like we had one flyer, but the other ones were all on target, so let's do that again. Alright, I'm going to shoot in the upper left hand corner target here now, same thing, 6 shots, 6 BBs, 20 feet. Okay, so again, a uh, nice little grouping, maybe one flyer, but uh, I can already tell this thing is uh, way better than this than the SNR, the snub nose, the short one that I showed you earlier that I reviewed. Uh, it wasn't even getting close to groups like this. So once I get this, maybe maybe sit in a little bit, uh, figure out what's going on. Um, should be good to go, but seems pretty accurate. I definitely like it. Uh, let's go back over to the bench and we'll load up some pellets and see if it shoots pellets. Alright, so here we are. We're back. Uh, we got the Premier Crossman 7.9 grain. Seen the proof sh shoot pretty well, excuse me. They just load right in the back of the cartridge like that. And now again, these did not come with a the gun. They came with the SNR, which is marketed. Let me get that for you as a dual ammo revolver. This was $50 at Walmart. This was 80, I forgot to mention that. This is an $80 revolver at Amazon. So it's a little expensive, but if I had to pick between one of these, I'm definitely going with this. And I don't even know if it shoots pellets yet, but this is way more accurate and it feels more balanced. All right, so let's finish loading these up. And I think the sights are better on this because it's it does it is marked with that red dot. It might not seem like a lot, but um, I'm picky and I don't care. All right, so it says not marketed as a dual ammo revolver, but it's a smooth bore, and it's the same exact gun as the SNR that is. So something's got to give. Uh. -oh. 
<laughs> User error. Okay, there we go. Well, this is live, I should. All right, let's uh, get a target here, and we'll see if this fires. Stand by. All right, same thing, 20 feet, same CO2. I'll be shooting, I'm going to shoot that one on the lower left right there. Okay, well, I guess it's safe to say that it shoots pellets, and it shoots them pretty good. That's a two-inch box right there, I guess. So, they're one flyer and good group right here. Not bad at all. Maybe I'll do one more shot with pellets and then wrap this up. Alright, this time I'm going to be shooting at the lower right-hand corner target. bad little group just about the same as we got over there um i think i'm pulling that i, I don't think that's the gun i think that's me because i can almost feel it when i when i squeeze the trigger but i'll get a, a shot of the gun firing here too uh just bbs probably i don't want to waste the pellets i ain't got that many left and then we will wrap it up all right i'm just gonna shoot the gun here at a target these are bb's same co2 so running kind of low but i'll do some in single action look at that gleaming single action and double action So that's going to wrap up the review on this uh, Crossman SR357. It's a sweet gun. And it's a dual ammo, even though it's not advertised as such. Single action, double action, full metal, has sights. Uh, shoots 445 feet per second. Runs on CO2. Weighs a good 2 pounds. Real... Uh, Pretty authentic, I think. I like it. Um, the one down thing that I would say would be that seam line right there. You see that? I know it sticks out like a sore thumb. That's the only thing that I don't like about the gun. So would I recommend you buy it? Absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys. That's going to be the end of the review. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I got some more guns coming. Check out my other reviews. I got the review on the little brother here. I'll put that down just for a size comparison. I know people like to see that. Um, check out the review on both of them. If I was going to pick one, if you want, if you want one, I'm going to go with this for the accuracy and the looks. Uh, and the, it's more balanced than the sights. Don't get me wrong, for 50, this is a fun gun to plank with. Um, but for 30 more, you get a lot more gun, I think. So that's it for the review, guys. And don't forget, if you do get it, you can shoot pellets out of it. It shoots fine. It's just not marketed as such, I suppose, to keep down on cost. So keep that in mind in your buying decisions. Again, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, have a good night.